If it's not worth it, walk away, separate yourself. What has she been used to? What does she go back to? Why are you giving more than you should be? He cares so much. Man, I should just brush him off. She has a roster still going. She has other options. She's still about her own self. Or she doesn't want to tell you about the same things that you tell her. Hello, everyone. So today's video is all about the power of not caring. So when it comes down to caring and actually showing your emotions, already a female is already feeling like, oh my gosh, he's about me. Oh, he's just like the other guys that validate in person far away in the text messages in the dms so you're trying to take yourself away from that idea even when you're around her and you're trying to tell her how you feel what you're into hey this is what's been going on i want you to know you have to slow down because she needs to sit there and wonder and be curious and say things such as oh he doesn't really want to tell me he doesn't care so when you do care you feel an obligation to go ahead and tell her you feel a desire to be like hey I just want you to know this or I feel like since we're so serious since we have something going on or we're together it should be important that you know of this but they are not actually supposed to get that they might feel entitled at the end if let's say they start giving you more time but then when you start carrying and showing up so much they back off right so if you deal with a girl that's over here saying like hey um sure oh that's nice or oh that's how you feel all it is is that she has no curiosity at any point in time with you she has you all figured out even has it down to the point of she knows what you're gonna say next she knows what you really feel she knows how sensitive you're gonna get and mushy that you're gonna talk about hey i was hurt and oh like i just need this in my life the mushy vibe the sensitivity that a lot of fellas are showing cut that out save it for your boys or save it for yourself because you don't need her to know these things if you're trying to attract her let's say way too soon listen and exclusive content make sure you go ahead and do that by clicking the patreon link or becoming a youtube member and a whole lot of other things you'll never see and all other types of pictures too so go ahead and click that link down below after this video all it is is setting you up for a female to think like dang is he okay is he really that emotional about me don't get me wrong if you're dating and you're supposed to actually be showing that hey this is how i feel about things this is where i've been at then that's cool why not go for it because you guys are on the same page and when you're just going on your first date when you're just texting you don't really know what she's doing or where she's at or she doesn't want to tell you about the same things that you tell her then this is where you move with all cautiousness so being cautious of the facts of if you're saying too much, all this causing is for them to take in what you're saying, but it doesn't allow them to release what is inside. So she could internally feel like, hey, I'm getting turned off the more you talk or he cares so much, man, I should just brush him off. So she's not going to say that straight to your face. She's not going to be like, oh, you know what? I don't like the fact that you feel this way or I don't like the fact that you're upset or I don't like the fact you want to talk and nag and you want me so bad and I don't want you right now and I don't want you most of the time. She's not going to say that to you. Now, this is the truth of it and this is what you need to take so serious. If you're becoming sensitive, how are you going to be masculine? If you're showing that you don't have that strength, how is weakness not going to be what she looks at or sees when she is dealing with you? So you want to revert it at all costs. Remember also, what has she been used to? What does she go back to? There are so many times where women have been dealing with bad boys. Now, I'm saying it like that because I'm talking about obviously we know women love the bad boys or let's say the guys that don't listen so much or they are not really down to do what she says, will never submit. Of course, that's important. Those are the things that falls into these are the guys that she is used to. So she has a wiring of getting that. This is what I like. Most women are like this because they go back to the same guy that don't treat them the best or they go back to the same guy that they do love and they want that guy to treat her better or want that guy to do better. The facts of it is that they see a value there. So for you, if you feel like I need to see my girlfriend or that person I'm dealing with, I need to see them showing up then you need to request and require that. I think where the lack comes in is when you decide to care, you take away my boundaries or what makes me feel uncomfortable. She might be this way, but I'm like this. 
you cannot think that way. You cannot operate that way because what's going to do to you? It's going to make you act as a good guy as this is how I am. And you're still going to get walked all over if you want hurt bad enough. As in also, you don't have to change yourself completely if you feel like you have to be like that with that woman and it makes you feel uncomfortable or it makes you feel like it's not worth it, then you're now forced to be by yourself. Find a woman who treats you better. My point is that there's a chance a woman can treat you better. The one you want can treat you better. So if she's willing to treat the guy that does not care, that does not call back right away, or let's even say doesn't answer right away, she's willing to treat him really good or wants that attention, has a strong desire to get these things out of him, then it could be the same thing from you because you decided to fall into that type of lane. Before I continue on, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below other types of videos that y'all want to see. And if you are struggling with this right now, or if you just feel like there's questions that are revolving around how much you should be caring, why you should be caring, what you should be stopping when it comes to caring, comment it down below. I want to hear what it is that you guys have to say about the whole idea of caring and I would like to hear your stories as well. So let's go ahead and move on to how Elaine is going to be, hey, I can't give you these things. Typically, maybe you are about, oh, well, I want to show up. I want to talk to you. I want to call you on my breaks. But that can't happen if you notice that when you do these things, she's over here brushing the phone call or saying, hey, I gotta go back to work, even though her break has been going on for five minutes and she's on a whole 30 minute, 30 minute break. Isn't that pretty wild? So I want y'all to really look at your situation and be like, what is wrong? What is not okay? This is not cool. I'm not gonna let somebody do this to me, walking all over me. This is not acceptable. When it's not acceptable, that it, you have every right to say, I'm going to remove my feelings. But sometimes removing your feelings, not caring, it needs to be done in the beginning. I want to talk about your situation. If you're going to be ignoring or if there's other stuff that you have going on, it could be about anything, self-improvement, back to dating. Consultations are available for that. Book your consultation. Let's get on the line and talk about what's going on with you. Click that link after this video. When you notice she has a roster still going, she has other options, she's still about her own self. So that just ultimately means that you don't need to keep getting invested or keep being about her or being there. In other words, why are you giving more than you should be? It just turns into she's not curious, yes, but she's not interested or she's not worried about you. And so to wrap up with this topic, I really want y'all to focus on the idea of if she's really worth you even caring for if she's not, then don't waste her time. If she's really just stressing you out or if you feel like I showed up, I gave you a little bit more and it's not worth it, back off. If you also feel like, and this is so important, fellas, if you also feel like, well, hey, I'm caring, right? Or hey, I, I stopped a little bit and then I started, it didn't work, I had to stop again. If you feel that way, where you feel like I'm doing the most or I don't want to keep going this way, especially with mind games, I can't wait to talk about mind games again. But especially if it feels like it's mind games or you have to keep going into a certain mood or act a certain way with her, if you're starting to understand or starting to feel like it's not worth it no more, let it be. Don't force it. Don't try to make it be something that it does not need to be no more. You're going to have better love as well letting go. I really have not even talked about letting go in so long. That's another topic that I have to bring up as well. But it's going to come down to even that. Let go. Let it be. Don't waste your time. If it's not worth it, walk away, separate yourself. Don't care if you're not supposed to, if you don't need to. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I can't wait to bring this video back up and talk about all types of other stuff that we still got to go ahead and cover. I already mentioned some of them already with mind games and letting go and all these things. Don't forget about Patreon and all the other links that are linked down below as well. And y'all will see me in my next video. Bye, y'all.